Hello and thank you for watching this short video. I'm Adam Ferry, Occupational Therapist and Director of the OT Service. Um, it's Back Care Awareness Week from the 4th to the 8th of October and therefore we thought it was appropriate to provide very short insight into bathing and care of posture. Now, there are, there's already a lot of content on the Advocacy Academy website looking at the posture of the bather and moving and handling generally. One of the things that's often overlooked is the posture uh, of, of the carer, the caregiver, the person supporting that bather, whether it be to get washed or in other meaningful roles um, that, they, that take place within the bath, um, or maybe even just uh, being there and communicating with that person while they're in the bath. It's worth remembering that the uh, manual handling operation regulations um, not only talk about the movement of the load, but the supporting of the load in a static posture. So within bathing, certainly standard domestic bathing, if we think about how this might take place with the carer on their knees, uh, leaning over the bath, um, from a postural perspective, that might be able to be done well, um, uh, with good back hair, a bit of good training, um, but as part of that risk assessment, we need to consider how often that task is taking place. So what's the frequency of the task? So if somebody's bathing every day, or in some cases a couple of times a day or more, then is that appropriate? Um, it's really important that we manage the carer's posture so that it supports the bather, the client's long-term health and well-being. If the carer isn't there to be able to support them, how will they access the bath? and conduct the meaningful activities while they're in there. To highlight that even further, in 2019 and 20, 30% um, uh, of work-related ill health issues were labelled as musculoskeletal, and 20% of working days lost were down to musculoskeletal injury. So you can see how it's absolutely critical that we factor that in as part of a good, robust risk assessment for bathing and how do we how do we manage that so with the example of something like the gemini bath uh, or any of the the, um, uh, the baths that are able to raise to a good height the the ability to raise the height of the bath to the carer um, allows us to have much more flexibility over that carer's posture if we think about the person at the height of the carer and then being able to to lean over the bath and support that good spinal position, um, that's much more likely to provide long-term access to the bath for the bather and, and enable us to keep that carer at work or manage their, the bather's needs in, in the long-term. I would definitely recommend having a look on the Abacus Academy website because there's already an awful lot of information in there about moving and handling with bathing and about the posture of the bather. And now it's maybe time we just started to think a little bit more about how the environment can be adapted to support the carer in that situation as well. Using elements of the Care Act to support that, um, that's what gives us now that, um, I suppose that golden nugget of legislation to be able to say why we're going the next step. Thanks for listening.